You're listening to the Impact Implosion on the Angry Marks Podcast Network. December 4th, 2015. It is the last month of the year, and it is another episode of the Impact Implosion. As always, I am Seth Draken, and celebrating the end of the group play with me is Mike Pollan. Come on. Yes, and not a moment too soon, as this week's show got TNA's lowest ratings. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What was the rating? It, well, it was their second lowest ratings ever. I don't know what the oh, rating was, no. but it was their second lowest ever. Oh, no. Yep. <laughs> that's, it, it, that's, what you, that's what you've done, TNA. You've made these shows so un, impossible to watch that people just gave up. That just Also, there was a good Detroit Lions-Green uh, Bay Packers game. That always has got to get mentioned. Oh, wait. No, that was well, Thursday. This was Wednesday. Never mind. I don't know what was on Wednesday. What? The, no, not the Wiz. <laughs> well, so... Yeah, there, there, were, there was so much good stuff coming up on Thursday that people just had to rest up early and, you know, go to bed early, get a good night's rest, get a head start on the day. That way, you know, Thursday was wide open. Yeah. Yep. We ain't buying that theory either. Okay, it's just Impact sucks. <laughs> Yeah, nobody buying that theory. Yeah, just TNA just had a terrible show the the previous right. week. That's that's all you got to do with these ratings is how things have gone, and you got to see where things have gone with TNA. Same place they've been going the last few years, the toilet. I know it was basically there was nothing good or bad about the. They were just mundane shows to watch. Well, they were going down, but they were just. Every week it was the same thing. So finally that's over with, but so yes, we finally get to go to um Josh and saying, Hey, group play is over, and I'm like, Oh thank God. So yeah. our, of course a wrestling match starts off our show with DJ Z versus EC three. This was what it needed to be. Oh yeah. DJ Z gets offense, looks yeah. good, but you know, he's not gonna win. Yeah, let me let me explain this to uh Josh said, just to try to suspend some bit of disbelief here, that if Ronda Rousey can be beat, anyone can be beat in this case. And I'm like, oh, where do I begin? Mm. This isn't for a championship, so EC3 ain't losing yet. This was the first round. And DJZ isn't undefeated like Holly Holm was. Mm. If you If you wanted a better reference... You probably should have said, hey, Buster Douglas beat uh, Mike T- Tyson that one time. Yep. They probably wanted to be topical. Oh, yeah, but honestly, the one made more sense. But surprise, EC3 win. DJD did his best and was pretty good. So pretty good for a match that was the winner was never in doubt. Right. And then... Gail promo backstage. Yep. And then it's Gail Kim versus Tigre Uno. And the this announcers are talking about how historic this match is. And they really didn't feel historic by the way TNA was presenting it. One, it would be the, the main is event. Done guy versus girl before. One, this would be the main event if that were true. And two, Tigre Uno got a fucking jobber entrance while Gail Kim barely gets one. Right. Yes, Tigre Uno was already in the fucking ring when Gail when we came back and Gail Kim was finishing her entrance. So yeah, no can do TNA. You fail. So Tigre, you know, and maybe I am old school, but you would think a champion versus champion match would be the main event. No, 
Yeah. Maybe I'm just too old school, but but anyways, Tigre Uno B A face is so unhappy to be facing a woman that he is trying to get this done with with no effort. Hmm. He is trying not to hurt her, and Gail Kim is getting more support than Tigre Uno. And Josh right. again with the lie that the world title series is uh, being a trending topic. And no. by the way. TNA with this happening with this match happening you hear that TNA that's the crowd giving a shit about a match yep. I want to consider that more so Tigre Uno wins with a roll up actually nice roll up too yep he blocks the move from Gail Kim and gets the roll up and wins yeah she tried to do a sunset flip but Tigre Uno sat on her got the three count so And then after the match, Tigre Uno shook her hand in respect. So time for Davey Richards versus Bram. You would yep. normally, I'm sure a lot of people would think Bram would win, but then he, you got to remember he got the jobber entrance here. Yep. So basically this was a meh match. Sounds it, yeah. Davey Richards wins against Bram, and the commentators called this an upset, but a smart person would say nope. This was actually the fate. This would actually be the favorite of most people who are smart marks would say would win this match. Right. And Davey faces EC3 next week. Yep. And he Drake versus Mahabali Shira. The attorneys collide. And if you don't know who wins here, you are dumb. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways, we saw Eli Drake cutting a promo and then losing. Because he got the jobber entrance, and Shira got a montage of him sweeping the war- group wild card. So this was never in a doubt. Uh, Shira wins in a squash. Too bad as he is still green as grass, and I know he's facing next, so we are in for some bad news. It's not going to be a good match. It's going to be an Ooh. ugly one. He's got Lashley. He's got Franklin. <laughs> and then we had a time waster of the Cole versus Gold Mini game time waster. And Pope, every one of these ones, he picked the person who was going to win. Ugh, don't make so that yeah, at all. Which is what happens with all of these mini games when they pick the, they pick the fucking guy who's going to win. Yep. So they can look smart. But the problem is, you're giving it away. Sometimes you've got to mix it up. DNA doesn't mm-hmm. mix it up. So. Bobby Roode versus Matt Hardy, and yes, in a miracle, both guys got their entrance shown. Yeah. This was, actually, this was actually a decent match. You'd imagine, you'd imagine it would be. And Matt Hardy wins with a twist of fate. Uh, no surprise there. No surprise there, yeah. He, Matt Hardy was the, is, was the main eventer. Bobby Roode was a former main eventer, now the mid-card champion, so yeah. Yep. So, time for Jesse Goddard versus Awesome Kong, and both of them get their entrances, too. Mm-hmm. And then Jesse Com- Goddard with the promo that proves that he is fucking high. <laughs> he basically... You want me. You want me. You know, I'm not, I know you're not here to wrestle me. You just want to touch this body. What more would you want than a kiss from this man? So, he poses for a kiss from her, and Awesome Kong punches him in the face. And I'm like, hmm. Jesse, let me do be realistic. J- Jesse, if she um wanted you, wanted to touch your body, <laughs> look at her, then look at you. You may have the muscles, but look at her. <laughs> She's going to get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not a contest here, buddy. So anyways, basically this match goes of what you wanted to see, which was Jesse Goddard's getting his ass kicked through most of the match. But stealing the win at the end. Mm. Yeah, she misses a splash and Kenny rolls, Jesse rolls her up with a handful of tights. Yep. And then we had Eric Young versus Kenny King. And Why? TNA was, was nice to compare Kenny King to New York Jets terrible QB who is now a backup, Geno Smith. Mm. You can smell the burial here. Yep. So Eric Young uses the ref. He's able to stop EY. EY tries to get something, gets pile drived, and goodbye, Kenny King, CNROH. Yep. 
Then we get the Franklin versus Galloway. It will be our main event, Spear versus Claymore. Yep. And we also got two entrances here. Uh-huh. But Franklin still has the worst Titan Tron video ever I've ever seen, even worse than David Flair. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. David Flair's the one where I know he has the name David Flair, David Flair <laughs> getting ready for a match, and then Ric Flair <laughs> looking completely unhappy. This one just has Franklin glaring his name and him hopping. Angry. Yes, him hopping. Mm. Like he was like an ice cream bunny or something. Mm. So this was actually a second best match of the night, I thought. Um, Franklin won with Spear. Yep, as you would expect. Yep. And we all knew the winners of these matches. Yep. As we know, I gave this show a C plus. Wasn't any real bad matches, terrible matches, but only two matches were, I think, above average. Right. So let's go to the let's go spoil again because we're such stinkers that way. Ain't we stinkers? Yeah, ain't we a stinkers? <laughs> so EC three versus Davy Richards. Do we even need to spoil who wins this match? No. No, we don't. Actually, so we will. Anyway, EC3 wins. Yep. In case you were stupid enough not to realize that. Shira versus Franklin. Lastly. Franklin will actually win this match. And it will be an ugly match. <laughs> because Lashley needs to be carried and Shira is green as freaking grass. We have two guys that really need to be carried. Let's put them in a match against each other. Sure can't be carried to a good match. <laughs> Unless you've got, you ain't got a Ric Flair in there, but you de- don't have, especially when it's against Franklin. Um, yeah. Matt Hardy versus Jess. No, it's not Jesse Goddard's. It's, um, yes, it it was Fra- well, Matt Hardy's winning. Gosh. And Eric Young against Tigre, you know. And Eric Young's winning. Mm-hmm. Because. I'm going to – I might spoil this entire tournament. Actually, no, I'm going to spoil it next week, and you're going to love – because next week's the semifinals, and I'm going to reveal who wins this entire thing, and it is because of bullshit. <laughs> you wouldn't have it. I am still other- the number one contender, by the way. What? Yes, Tyrus is still the number one contender. Oh, Jesus. That means the winner has to face him. You know who's the winner is going to be. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, it's gonna, it's, it's not Matt Hardy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that makes it worse. No, it's, it's, no, actually, that makes it better that it's not Matt Hardy. At least both men aren't like 40. Mm. So yeah, join us next week where we reveal this, the entire tournament's winner. And because of the whole bullshit with the um, India tour getting postponed. They're going to go with the original finish, and it's bullshit. <laughs> is there it is... a heel turn involved? No. Oh, I'll tell no. You, I'll, tell, I'll tell you after the uh, show ends. But Oh, boy. All right, so without that further ado, do you have anything to sell? No, I'm and good. I do not either. So with that said, good night, and Miley, we are going for a walk. Yeah. Is that it? I think that is it. Did we, uh, or we stop recording? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Hopefully we did, but, uh, I'll tell you the bullshit finish. Uh, oh, no. Matt Hart, EC3 is going to beat Lash Franklin again. Oh, jeez. And then Eric Young's going to beat Matt Hardy. Wait, what? And then Eric Young's going to quit. Uh, okay. So that means in the finals, EC3 will get the title because he's facing uh, no boy. one. So he has DNA's fucking this up. Whoops. <laughs> this just sounds awful. <laughs> yep. We to- I told you it was a bullshit finish. Uh, because yeah. yes, Matt Eric Young's gonna win, and Maybe then he's, he's gonna quit. He's gonna 
No, Eric Young's going to win against Matt Hardy, and then he's going to quit after the match. I quit. He's like, I quit this company. Basically, uh, up the finals, and EC3 gets the belt. Oh, God. Basically, the color corner and pointless. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless, of course, uh, TNA decides when their new tapings come out. <laughs> this never happened. This never happened, and um, we need to get a real replacement in there, and we'll give Matt Hardy the shot for the Again. first show in Matt in Pop TV. Yeah. And then we'll be fucked. <laughs> uh, and then it'll, it'll be like, why will this was this hurt whole tournament done if we were going to do Matt Hardy versus EC3 anyway? Because TNA hates it. a convoluted way to get there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds awful. Oh, God, that is awful. So, good night. Uh, good night. Good night.